Okay, so here's yet another uh, geometric balloon design. This one is a truncated cube octahedron. And um, you can see there's an octagon on top. These are um, hexagons on these sides, and then little mini squares here. And so um, let's just take a look. So unfortunately, of course, we have a bunch of double bubbles for edges. Um, and that is because every vertex here is degree 3, which makes it rather complicated to come up with. And so these squares, every square has two double bubbles here, and the octagons on top essentially are left alone. And so you can see through um, the structure here where you've got um, a square on the opposite side. Um, but essentially what we have is, there's the opposite side as well. Um, with an octagon, um, but what we're looking at is a fairly sim simple design, but using six balloons. So each balloon essentially tries to do an octagon, but instead every other edge it actually does a bubble out. So it goes one, two, three, and then a normal side, and then out one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, and so that makes every balloon have sixteen bubbles. So it's not that hard to make, um, um, and 16 bubbles isn't crazy hard to do. Uh, this is my first attempt, so they, uh, I should have made the, uh, some of these segments are a little bit longer than they should be. Um, anyway, I, I've been playing with um, designing this type of balloon for a, a little bit of time. I was, I was actually looking at perhaps, instead of doing um, the squares with two double bubbles, putting a little um, a cross on them. And so this is sort of a, let me just put that down. We've got an octagon on top, and then um, what we have is a bunch of, um, the squares have these, these connections here. And so even though I was looking at this, this, this design is kind of like, um, if you remember the snake approach or the snake um, technique, where you make a triangle and then you click it together. Well, I was thinking, well, why don't we try something like that with a square? And I'm still playing with it. I don't know if it's going to work, but um, so there, there's a two, you know, this is just two octagons connected together because I was a, it was just a kind of a play thing there. But I think for now, if you want to make a truncated uh, cube octahedron, your best bet is this style where you double up. Um, these edge bubbles. Anyway, enjoy. Cheers.